Hi, hello viewers. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and for hitting the subscribe button. I know I have many more viewers than the 400 of you that are subscribed, but I want to say a special thank you to the 400 of you who have taken the time to hit subscribe. I'm very much appreciative and I just wanted to say thanks. There are a few other things I wanted to address while I'm saying thanks. And that is some of the feedback I've gotten over the three or four years I've been posting videos. So I've posted a number of videos on Go, just programming in general, different programming languages compared, Angular programming, and how to develop web applications. And overall, I have to say the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. People like the material. They like how it is presented. They like the examples. Their requests for more specific App specific examples, I would say, um, to write an application that does this or does that. And it's not that I'm necessarily against that. It's just that the time wouldn't permit it. But I think that's a positive thing that people are asking to see more specific examples. And I really do hope that one day this channel will be fantastically successful such that I can actually spend time doing all of that. I also have people asking for other languages. And if you're interested, I've, I've started... Um, well, a while back, I started to do a series with programming languages compared. And so take a feature or something that you would do in programming, like let's say iterate over for a loop or how functions are called or something like that. And then I look at how it's done in like six languages. I was doing C, C++, Go, Java, Python, and Scala. I was excited about that because I love programming. and I like seeing how different languages approach the same, you know, concept, feature, etc. But if you are not familiar with all those languages, then it sort of was like too much, right? And so anyway, I stopped doing that because I think um, it was getting lost a little bit, um, the intent. But still, I have people asking for other languages and especially C. Once again, if uh, you haven't heard me say this before, or you haven't seen my response to this type of question about other languages, I do intend to do other languages. I intend to do C, assembly language, C++, Java, Python, Rust also, um, Julia, but it's just a matter of time. I do have a day job and then other things to fill my day. And so I try to put not only doing these videos for YouTube, but also like in the course preparation, I have a Golang course that I've been working on for Udemy, I'm hoping to get it out by the end of the year. I've been working on it for a while, but because of that day job and other things I have to do, I'm not complaining, I gotta have a day job. Um, but just the reality, I cannot work on it as much as I'd like every day. But anyway, so hopefully I can get it out. Once it's completed, I'll post a um, trailer, I guess, of the course here. For those of you who would probably still wanna go check it out or recommend it to others. There's certain comments that, um, points to areas of improvement. And I think that's great that people take the time to either compliment or to say, these are how things can be better. And some of it relates to video length. Basically it's too long. Um, some of the earlier comments say, oh, you spent too much time on this idea or you went too deep or something like that. And I understand this. I'm a person who likes talking. It's easy for me to go on at length on something. And so to try and address that, I started speeding up the video and this, some other individuals didn't like. And also, I get it, I get it, that speeding up the video, my intent to shorten the video, especially the parts that took a long time, like me typing the code, I figured that if I sped that up, people can use pause or the speed adjustment in the YouTube video playback to slow it down. But again, um, this didn't go over too well. And so um, people didn't want to see the code and sped up. So the solution I have for this is to just reveal the code. And so for this to make sense, let me give you an example. So this weekend I was traveling and I didn't have any internet. So anyway, I downloaded some videos from GoForCon 2018 to watch. And one of the video was on implementing a binary tree. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, ah, you know what? Let me go try and implement this binary tree in Go before I watch the video because I've done binary trees in C and C++ a number of times, too many times to count but I never had to implement one in Go, just to have a need for it so far. So I figured, hey, this would be a good exercise. So I implemented a binary tree. So this is my implementation. You know, I can post it, it doesn't really matter. I didn't really compare it with what the person was presenting because I never finished watching that videos, but that's not the point. Point is this, if I do code reveal, what I can do is show you all the code already typed up 
and you can pause and feel free to type the code if that's what you want to do. I can then just highlight the parts of the code that I want you to focus on. So for example, let's say I want you to focus on the tree node or the definition of this tree node. I can say, well, okay, here we have a type called tree and it's a struct and it has a root field called node. And of course we know it's going to be private. Somebody outside of this tree package shouldn't be able to manipulate the root node. And then we have this node structure, this type called node, which contains the key that we'll use for constructing our binary tree and determining which node should go left or right. And whatever data you want to store in that node, you might see it differently. You might see an integer being used. I wanted to make the point that payload could be anything and technically your key can be anything that you could compare though most of the time you'd want to use an integer it's more efficient and then you have left and right node so this is an example of me just sort of revealing all the code written and then i can talk through it still having all the code there for people to type up and they can pause i think this is going to be a solution for you know to address both sides thank you again if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed please subscribe take care see you in the next video bye have a great rest of the day